Hi there. Great to see you again. In today's section, we're going to have two parts. First, review the new characters, and the second, we're going to have some fun together. Three new characters for this week. All of them the fourth tone. First one, Shang, Shang, Shang. Second one, Xia, Xia, Xia. Last one, Mu, Mu, Mu. The one in the bracket is the radical of Mu. A lot of characters they have a meaning related to Mu, and so they have this left radical. I told you before, radical in Chinese called Pian Pang. So this one is the Pian Pang of Mu. Strokes, Shang. Three strokes, Heng, Shu, and Heng. So if we look at the GIF file, hey, one more time, Shu Heng Heng. That's the order of the stroke. Shu Heng Heng. Alright, that's Shang. Xia. Three strokes. Heng, Shu. Last one is Dian. Okay. So look at the order. Okay. Heng, Shu, Dian. One more time. Heng, Shu, Dian. That's for Xia. Mu. Four strokes, Heng, Shu, Pie. For this full character, is a Na. For the radical, the last stroke is a Dian. All right. So look at the order. Heng, Shu, Pie, Na. One more time. Heng, Shu, Pie, Na. That's mu. All right, so let's do the writing together. Okay, shang, 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 shang. Shang, Xia, 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 Xia. Okay. Mu, Mu. Mu, Mu, Pian Pang of Mu, Alright, so that's the writing of the characters. We finished the first part, and if you want to take a break, feel free to do so. Next, we're going to do exercises, and then I'm going to give you some challenges. First, these are the new phrases and greetings we learned, and let's just review them. First one, 新年好，新年好。The meaning is have a good new year. 新年快乐，新年快乐
新年快乐 meaning Happy New Year. 你好，你好 meaning Hello. 你好，早上好 meaning Good morning. Please be careful about 早 It's 早 It's not 早 It's 早 It's 早。早上好，早上好。下午好，下午好。Meaning good afternoon. 下午好。晚上好。Meaning good evening. 晚上好，晚上好。谢谢。谢谢。In just regular oral speaking, you can make the first tone stronger, second tone lighter. So, 谢谢，谢谢。If you really want to stress it, you can say 谢谢。You know, both tones actually the same kind of weight. So, 谢谢。So you, it depends on how you want to express your feeling. Last line. 日月星，日月星，日月星。That's this one. 天地人，天地人，天地人，天地人。All these are the new characters you've learned so far. Top line, the numbers from one to ten. Let's read it loud. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九、十。Be careful about two characters. 四四 If you want to stress the English way too much, you may pronounce like C, but it's not right. It's 四 That's the difference between Chinese and English. 四十 It's not 十 like English. It's 十十 Second line. 天地人日 ，be careful about this character. I know it's a little difficult. So this one is 日日日，月星星土心心。上，下，木。All right, move on. All right, so now I'm putting some characters together and make into word. And then the first group is numbers. Let's play the number game. I didn't give you. The English meaning of all these words, but please guess what they are, and that's my first challenge. 十一十一二十三二十三四十五四十五六百七十六百七十。八千九百，八千九百。So how are we doing so far? Did you figure out what they are? Here's the answer. 十一 is eleven. 二十三 twenty-three. 四十五 forty-five. 六百七十 Six hundred seventy. 
So now here, 六 is six. 百 is hundred. 七 here 十 is this zero, so it's ten. So 六百七十 is six hundred seventy. Now I have a question for you. If you want to say 六百七十三 What is that? Or if you want to say six hundred seventy-three, how you want to say it in Chinese? It's very easy. 六百七十三 six hundred seventy-three. 六百七十三 So now you can compose any six hundred seven. Seventy something, from one to one to ten. Next one, 八千九百 is eight thousand nine hundred. 八 is eight. 千 is thousand. 九 is nine. And 百 is this two zeros. So. 八千九百 is eight thousand nine hundred. So now I have a second question for you. Now, if you want to say eight thousand nine hundred forty-five, how are you going to say it in Chinese? Very simple. 八千九百四十五 That's eight thousand nine hundred forty-five. 八千九百四十五 So now you see, if you know the character from one to ten, and then you know 百 and 千 so basically you can say any number from one to nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Isn't it wonderful? Okay, move on. So now you you know this character Xin, and then combine with the new character Qi, so that's weak. So Qi here the meaning is time cycle, and then Xin Qi is the weak. So you're going to learn this character later, but I'll just introduce it to you now, and then combine with The numbers you've learned, you can say any day of a week. So let's read it loud together, and please think about the meaning of it. 星期一，星期二，星期三，星期四，星期五，星期六。星期天 or 星期日 So how are we doing? Did you figure out what date are these seven? Here's the answer. 星期一 is Monday. 星期二 Tuesday. 星期三 Wednesday. 星期四 Thursday. 星期五 Friday. 星期六 Saturday, 星期天 or 星期日 Sunday. For these two, 星期天 is a little bit um informal. So in oral speaking, you say 星期天 all the time. But if you want to be a little bit more formal, and you can do 星期日 Usually in written, 星期日 So they're both Sunday. So now you see, you know, number one through six, and then 天 or 日 and then you know 星期 You basically can say any day of a week. You don't need to remember seven different words. Isn't it wonderful? Next group. Now we're going to say month. You know this character, 月 meaning the moon, and then 
Let's combine the number one through twelve and to make twelve months. 一月，二月，三月，四月，五月，六月，七月，八月，九月，十月，十一月，十二月。So, did you figure out what they are? Here's the answer: 一月 is January, 二月 February, 三月 March, 四月 April, 五月 May, 六月 June, 七月 July, 八月 August, 九月 September, 十月 October, 十一月 November, 十二月 December. So now with the character 月 a number one through twelve, you know how to say every month of a year. You don't need to remember twelve different words. Isn't it wonderful? Next one. Let's forget about the numbers. And just review the other characters. 天地人日月星土星上下木 All right. So I put two characters into a word. So these are the commonly used words. 天地，天地，天人，天人，人心，人心，土地，土地，天上，天上，地下。地下 All right. Did you kind of figure out the meaning behind these words? Here's the answer. 天地 heaven and earth. 天人 deity. 人心 human heart or human mind. 土地 land. 天上 up in heaven or up in sky. 地下 under earth. So let's practice these words again. 天地天人人心土地天上地下 All right. So from now on, we're going to learn the characters, and more and more, we're going to make words. I hope you have fun today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.